Hi, Sirius Reese here, back on our Enter Dimensions New Game Plus 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 video, episode 197, and it's been a little bit since last episode. Not really much has happened. I've gotten a lot of Infinity Bosonic Runes, but I need more Quantum Bosonic Runes. I am starting to try to get some Z Bosons, but it's not really doing much. I can decay W Bosons, really not doing all that much, unfortunately. That's, that's the problem. And, like, even in Photons, there's not really much I can do here. So, I think what I want to do, I want to get this achievement, because this reward is amazing, and it's it could be an achievable achievement at this point. So, that's what that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to export my save first, because I think I, I need to Ghostify to do this. I mean, first I need to Big Rip, and, I, and it's probably a good idea to, idea to Big Rip anyway, because that'll get me more just Nanofeel rewards and everything, or, or not. I thought it was going to be a little more than that, but I can't even get more than E262 Quark Spin. So, okay, whatever. I'll, I'll export here so I can... Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off these Automator Ghosts, the Unstabilized Ghost, because I'm going to Ghostify, even though it's it's not really um, the best idea Like for Ghost Particles. I want to get this achievement, and this reward is amazing. Like, I want, I, I'd want 27 levels of... Um, the, the second upgrade there, so yeah, here you go. Let's Ghostify, and um, I have to be very, I've, I have to be really con conscious of where my U presses are. I essentially need to, um, I need to get two radioactive decays of every color with at least at most ten gains of unstable quarks. So, uh, the best idea here is, here is to go into Big Rip, and then probably one U press, um, uh, one radioactive decay. Two U presses, not quite enough. Um, maybe I should pro I should probably do Nanofield reward here. I should probably get this. Yeah, seventy three rewards. That's obviously gonna help things. Um, so maybe I'm gonna try the third U press. Is that that's it? Boom! There is the achievement. So that's all I needed. Just three U presses. So this means that. I will be able to get a ton more tachyon particles because now, um, I actually want, once I start getting the automator ghosts back up and running here, you can see that if I, if I actually go into tree of decay, I it says 20, it's 27 here, but I think once I get, I, it's probably it's probably part of this like 150. I, I think that's what it must be. I I'm gonna even try, try I'm gonna try getting get no not. What was I? What was I going to say? I'm going to try getting tachyon particles. Let's see if this does anything. No. Okay, it's not. It's not as good as I thought it was. Whatever. It's. It. At least I got the achievements. I. I, I mean, maybe I should try to go for some other achievements at this point, because they all do have rewards. But I'm not exactly sure if I really want to get them. Like I'm. Like, I feel like most of these, like, most of these ones just come naturally, or it's about trying to get a pair of challenge ranking, which I'm not sure if I exactly want to do at this point. Maybe I should just go in Bosonic Lab, because right now I have too many W- bosons, and I want to get rid of them. And I probably want to also get a few levels of, of this. So, yeah, let's see. I can get up to level 7, level 8 now, so... I'm I'm getting somewhere with this. It's not a lot though. I'm still not getting a single balsonic antimatter yet, which is a little concerning. I I want I want to get these upgrades. Just um, maybe I should go out of big rip first. Maybe yeah, maybe just like doing maybe being out of outside of big rip will just be a little bit better here. And maybe maybe this maybe this achievement isn't as good. Oh, it's branch upgrade two. I read it as tree upgrade two. Okay, then it's not as overpowered as I thought it was gonna be. It's I can't believe I missed that for like 1.5 episodes. It's just these upgrades, which are still they're still good upgrades. That that's still giving give, getting nine free upgrades like this in each branch is pretty good. That's like equivalent to getting. Um, that means essentially the radioactive decay requirements have gone down by like 10 orders of magnitude of spins. So it's still a good reward, but it's not as overpowered as I thought it was gonna. Be. I thought I thought it was gonna 
It was gonna like be game changing, but no, it didn't didn't really do anything big here. I should probably go back into Big Rip because I could easily get with with this reward. I I think it's not gonna be hard to to reach the tenth radioactive decay in each branch, and I should be able to also reach ninety five rewards. So at, at least I'm back up to where I was before. Okay, I have slightly more neutrinos than I had before. And also, there's a new boost at E3000 Ghost Particles. So, yeah, there, there's that to to look forward to. Other than that, there's really not much else I can do. I, I mean, I could try to go for some of these achievements in the 22nd row. But I don't really... I don't feel that much of a need to get them. I think I just want to get the Balsonic Lab stuff going. And speaking of Balsonic Lab stuff, it looks like I have all the W+. Plus so this means I have a 4.1 times faster extracting time and 20 times faster oscillate pro progression. So I think what I want to do, I want to oscillate the Z neutrino or to get Z bosons. Hopefully this will, I remember the first time I did this, like I waited like a day here. Um, did, like this, like, this multiplier went up to like a hundred times and it would, and it, felt pretty amazing so especially that combined with um a few levels of this i think is really gonna gonna help everything so um i'm not exactly sure if i should be in or out in or out of big rip but I, I'm, I'm gonna stay in big rip to try to get the 10th rated active decay so yeah seen a bit okay i'm back like five days later yes like five days it's been too long i've been really busy lately because i've been just loaded up with a lot of work anyway uh yeah let, let's see where bosonic lab is i think i was grinding um z bosons so now i have twenty-seven thousand of them which means i can now decay w plus and w minus bosons a lot quicker not really much stuff i have a bunch of a lot of quantum bosonic runes it means actually I can. I can. I should probably. I could get to produce more balsonic antimatter, but I think I'd rather just do this because that's a ten times boost to the production and use of antiprions, and I still have a ton of quantum balsonic rooms anyway left anyway. So I, I could just do this. Um, it doesn't look like it has much effect, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna max that at this point. Here I'm just going to get W plus W minus bosons because. You can see it's so much faster than before, which is which will allow me to get more bosonic runes. At this point, it takes only um, like five seconds to get an eternity bosonic rune. Also, I'm finally getting bosonic antimatter, and I'm getting quite a lot of it. That doesn't seem like a limitation at all at this point. So I, I feel like the, the thing that is limiting is just the bosonic runes. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to decay the W plus the W minus bosons, and see where I am in like bosonic lab, or not bosonic lab, photons, and doesn't look like I'm really anywhere here. Maybe I can try going into big rip, seeing if this does anything. Pro probably, it should do something to go into big rip. Like at least, at least, like a, yeah, I can see it's a little bit more spins. Um, 96 rewards here as possible. So it's pretty nice doesn't really mean all that much and I can just do that while I'm waiting for um, the W plus and W minus buildings and like, I, the thing is I probably I probably can get the it's, it's, just, it's just really this rune thing that's just taking forever or it's not forever but it's just it's just still feels like it's a uh, unnecessarily long time I could try to get more oscillation going because of just how many levels I have of, of this. And the thing is, I don't really think that Balsonic Antimatter is doing anything on itself. You need to just get like this upgrade to start boost, have, having Balsonic Antimatter do something. I also may want some Infinity Balsonic Runes because this is just not very fast. So I'm just going to get like five levels of this. And yeah, now we're up to this. Maybe it looks like I am able to get some Z Bosons, but it's not all that much it, you can see it's not really increasing this number very much so 
I'm just going to keep decaying W plus and W minus bosons. And I really wish there was better automation for this. Like, this is something that needs to be automated. It's very basic. And I often, like, maybe I could just do, like, one, like an entire day where I'm just doing, like, a decaying W plus bosons. And then another day where I'm, I am turning the W plus into, or W minus into W plus. I mean, I, I'm now almost halfway to getting the upgrade, so maybe I'll just wait for that. The thing is that I want to have good W plus boson, W minus boson race ratios. So I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go back out of big rip. Um, I know I couldn't really get much going. E two hundred seventy seven spins. I think I am getting a little bit more antimatter than before. I don't think I got up to E seventy six quadrillion. So. And, and now it's fast enough that, at least with infinity bosonic runes, I can get about one every, more than just one every second. I can get like, this seems like about 100 per minute. So at this rate, it'll just take a, only a single minute to get the eternity bosonic runes so I can get this upgrade again. I know this is, this is sort of dumb, but I guess that's what I have to deal with. So yeah, seen a bit here. Okay, now I can finally get this upgrade. It's Bosonic Antimatter Boosts Blue Light Effect. This will actually make Bosonic Antimatter useful. And I forgot what the blue light effect is. And it's, isn't it just, they boost green light strength and then reduce the nerf to blue power boost. Okay, which I think boosts dilated time. So that will that definitely helps. That is something. And yeah, it doesn't even spend the runes. I, for, I forgot. I think what I'm going to keep doing, I'm going to keep getting Eternity Bosonic Runes because because I'm, I already have the quantum bosonic runes required for the second upgrade, and I feel like that's gonna it's gonna do that. Or I could go for the third upgrade instead, and I'm just, I'm just gonna do it in order, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this so I can get all the W bosons. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to get a lot of them. Like I I feel like at this point I'll be able to like if I wait an entire day. Which I'm so busy that it's just gonna happen. I'll be able to get hopefully a few thousand, or not just a few thousand, like maybe hundred thousand, well over a hundred thousand W plus bosons. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.